Movies speak to us in different ways. Sometimes, what separates a great movie from a good movie is how it acts as a window into either ourselves or our society. Watchmen serves as one of these windows, which is why it's one of my favorite comic book movies. Watchmen tells the story of powerful yet extremely flawed characters who struggle against forces that are out of their control. A dense movie, Watchmen focuses more on character development than action sequences. The Watchmen themselves are not heroes in the traditional sense, and are better classified as a group of anti-heroes, each one fighting through their own inner demons. The interweaving of these six characters is great. No other superhero comic book movie I have seen takes so many dense characters and brings their story to life in a single movie like Watchmen. But as great as the interweaving of these six characters are, what makes this movie truly brilliant is the antagonist of the story. No, Ozymandias is not the antagonist of the story. Sure, he killed millions of people. That was only to save billions more. A simple issue of applying math and reason. He may be mistaken, but his intentions are not villainous, nor are they senseless, especially in a Cold War era world where opposing forces depict each other as evil. No, Ozymandias' designs are simply on a much grander scale than any of his Watchmen colleagues. You understand, don't you? Without condoning or condemning. I understand. Rorschach has no qualms about killing or brutalizing criminals or suspected criminals without a trial. The comedian practically gets off on it, and even Don't. kills innocent people. Moreover, if one considers Ozymandias to be the main villain, why don't they believe that Dr. Manhattan is worse? Dr. Manhattan is more than capable of destroying every nuclear weapon on the planet, but he doesn't. Sure, he might not be able to stop each one once launched, but he doesn't need to wait that long. He can see into people's minds, as well as duplicate himself seemingly without limit. So he could easily find out where enough nuclear weapons are and destroy them before any launch. At least, he could destroy enough to the point where, if any did launch, he could easily destroy them in mid-flight. So his indifference is allowing the nuclear threat to persist, which means Ozymandias believes his plan is necessary only because of Dr. Manhattan's apathy. She was pregnant, and you gunned her down. That's right. You know what? You watched me. You could have turned the gun into steam, the bullets into mercury, the, the bottle into goddamn snowflakes, but you didn't, did you? You really don't give a damn about human beings. You're drifting out of touch, Doc. God help us all. In the story, Criminals are more of a nuisance than a threat, as the Watchmen swat them like bugs. No matter how many are put in jail, the real threat grows worse as both common people and world leaders slowly talk themselves into the inevitability of extinction through nuclear war. Therein lies the antagonist of the story, a nuclear arms race between two superpowers, caused by weaknesses inherent to human nature. No matter how powerful any of the Watchmen are, they can't change humanity as it is. Human nature is guilty for the arms race, which makes everyone on the planet guilty of flirting with world extinction. Here we arrive at the story's overarching antagonist. People are the villains of Watchmen. They are the ones who either push towards or sit back and accept world extinction. They are the ones who look to a savior to save them from themselves. Ozymandias was the first of the Watchmen to fully grasp the depth of the problem and he was the only one besides Dr. Manhattan who could do something about it. So, he acted. Fear, apathy, rage, confusion, love, all these and more are part of the human condition, and will always stand in the way of a conflict-free existence. In Watchmen, the only way people came together was when everybody lost. By losing, they became united against a common foe. Not able to trust humanity with the truth, each of the surviving main characters endure knowing the peace achieved is based upon a lie. Sound familiar? Each of our main characters battled against forces that none could overcome, at least not completely. Even Dr. Manhattan, a godlike being, was powerless against such a force. I can change almost anything.
but I can't change human nature. But the movie leaves us with a question. Will humanity learn from its mistakes? Or is it destined to end violently through no fault but our own? Despite being written in a Cold War paradigm, the story's main theme rings more true than ever, even if not targeted to nuclear war. Today, we categorize opposing political parties as dangerous, if not evil. Anything becomes fair game if it means our side wins, or, at the very least, the other side does not. In the United States today, this death struggle for winning has infected our political institutions, which has intensified the partisan divide. It becomes all too easy to blame those in power for the bickering that leads to legislative paralysis or to uncompromising legislation. Fewer are willing to give in, because no one politically wants to lose, especially when it's related to things as important as legislation. Compromise becomes a bad word, because anything other than unconditional victory is unacceptable. Under such circumstances, human nature seems to then yearn for some kind of savior, one to either fix the mess or to blow up the perceived problem. Nobody knows the system better than me, which is why I alone can fix it. But in Watchmen, the people of the world need a change in order to save the world from itself. Likewise, to ease the partisan divide in the United States today, the people of the country need a change first, as they are the ones who elect and re-elect their representatives. If a hero can save the day, then responsibility is lifted from the people. They don't have to better themselves or educate themselves on the issues. If a hero can save the day, then no one needs to listen to the other side. Watchmen is the anti-hero, anti-savior comic book story, where the protagonists not only don't win, they can't win. No hero can save the people from themselves. The only savior can be the people of the world, but only if we learn to not give in to the antagonistic forces that constantly threaten to rip us apart. Rorschach's Journal, October 12th. 1985. Tonight, a comedian died in New York.